Furthermore the unique symbols like the sun, snake, and horned goat, were not only used in buildings, but also on the traditional decorations and traditional wearing, same as the Albanians that use the same symbols even today. The traditional wearing clothes of these white tribes, has similarity with the present Albanians high mountains traditional wear, and due the facts over the Illyrian traditional wearing, it is almost the same clothing. Many researchers believe that the Hunza people's traditional dresses are very similar with the ancient Macedonian dresses. As you can see, the Hunza people's symbols are identical with ancient Illyrian symbols. Even the music and the traditional dance have such a similarity that fascinate. The Hunza Valley tribes have a dance called the Sword Dance, where the mans with swords dance with music and act like they're fighting. The totally same dance was at the Illyrians, and of course it still is at the nowadays Albanians. The Burush people, the Kalish, and the Pamirian people have still kept the same pagan beliefs, same as the Illyrians used to, and it is in their tradition that if someone of their tribe changes his religion, then he must leave the village, and another interesting fact is that the Albanians today have a dog breed known as the Illyrian dog that is mostly founded at the Shah Mountains. However the Illyrians kept this dog as a shepherd dog or in some cases as a war dog. The Hunza people have their own dog breed too, and guess what? It is the same dog that Hunza people have. The Illyrian dog that lives in Albanian lands has the almost the same features and character as the Hunza people's dog. Also if we look at these people's languages, we may find words that are similar with today's Albanian language. Mainly, most of the words that kept its origin, and kept unchangeable, are the important words such as, nature phenomena, basic grammar, and even fairy tales titles. For example there is a mountain in Hunza Valley, where it has too many storms and thunders, and is called Bubulamati Mountain. If we look at the Bubulamati word, it has similarity with the Albanian word Bubalama, which in Albanian means thunder. The Hunza Valley people have transmitted that they are the descendants of Alexander the Great generation to generation. 
As the elders in Hansa keep saying that they are the direct descendants of Alexander the Great and his army. Nowadays Albanians or the descendants of ancient Illyrian people that live in Balkans, and nowadays Burush, Kalash and the Pamirian people that live in Central Asia. How can it be possible that these two different settlements that live separated for 5,000 kilometers, share and have similarity in the same architecture, the same decorations, the same symbols, the same mythology, the same fairy tales, the same music and dance, the same traditional wear, same words and even the same dog breed. As they say themselves, they are obviously the ancient Illyrians, living today among us in 21 century.